everyone, it's Katherine Davis with Florida Homes Realty and Mortgage and the Ohana team. Today I am at my fall festival open house here in Oakley Plantation. It's about to have some guests coming. So I am about to make my harvest punch. And I've had so many of you ask how I make harvest punch and what goes in it that I thought I'd share it with you. So I have my container here and I love this one. I got it on Amazon. I have an ice reserve on the bottom and then one that goes down into it and that keeps it nice and cold for everyone. You can use a pitcher, a punch bowl, whatever works for you. And the first thing I do is a bottle of apple juice and I put in the entire bottle. One bottle of apple juice. And then the next thing I put in is cran apple juice. And I put in half a bottle of cran apple. And I just eyeball it guys. This does not have to be really precise. It just tastes good, so just do it till it tastes good. The next thing I do is ginger ale. And again, I do half a bottle of ginger ale. So that is one part ginger ale, one part cranberry, two parts apple. Okay, and now my secret ingredient, my first secret ingredient is a small can of pineapple juice. Just the small single serving one. Something about pineapple juice, that just wakes up all the other flavors with the cranberry and the apple and it's that flavor. You just don't know what it is, but it tastes really good and makes the other ones taste better. So I put in an entire single serving can. And last, you add my second secret ingredient and that is the garnish. I've got orange slices, apple slices, cinnamon sticks, and cranberries in here and the flavors infuse so beautifully. In about 20 minutes, it tastes so good. But it's not just that, it's also, it's so pretty with everything in there. And when it's pretty like that, it looks like you took a ton of time when it really wasn't that hard at all. And pretty things just taste better. <laughs> so give it a try yourself. Comment down below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.